Hello, everybody. I apologize. Okay. We got some inconvenience with this thing that is power went down. So that's why um I got disconnected. Okay. So I'm sorry. We lost like five minutes. So I'm going to like stay five more minutes at the end of the class. Okay. So I I'm sorry. Okay, we were working with, uh, let me see here, right, with the uh, attendants. I was working with the attendants, so just give me a minute or one more time. The last one is going to be Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernandez, right, Sebastiana? Are you here, Sebastiana? Yeah, teacher. Oh, okay. yes. Thank you so much. Okay, so again, I apologize for the inconvenience with the internet connection. Um. That thing sometimes happens. Okay, uh, let me see. Here we have the presentation. I'm gonna show you a video so we can have the grammar part of this topic for hey, today. Uh, so I want you to listen the video and then we can practice a little bit of the grammar part. Here we go. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Hi.
the microphone teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good, Catherine. I forgot. I apologize. Okay. Let's re let's let's record this. Let's repeat this one, okay? I'm sorry. Uh we're gonna use um these words so to neither in either to show agreement or to show disagreement with somebody. Okay, so if you want to agree with somebody, you are going to use these four expressions, right? And when you disagree, you need to use different expressions here. And let me show you. For example, I am crazy about Italian food. You, you have two options to agree with somebody, yes? So if you agree with somebody, when somebody tells you, Oh, I'm crazy about Italian food. I'm crazy about video games. I'm crazy about pupusas. I'm crazy about, I don't know, English, right? You can say, if you agree, so am I. Or you can say, I am, comma, and two. Yes. Or if you disagree, you say the opposite. Right, so if you see the sentence here is affirmative sentence. So if you disagree, you need to say something negative, okay? To disagree with this one, okay? To disagree with this one, you say something negative because this one is affirmative. Then we have, I can eat really spicy food. If you agree, you can say, so can I, or you can say, I can, comma, Two. So if you see here, verb to be, verb to be, right? Can, can. Yes, right? And if you disagree with this person, again, you can say something negative, right? Because this is affirmative, so you say something negative, right? Then we have, I like Japanese food. You can say, I like Mexican food, I like Brazilian food, I like Salvadorian food, I like Honduran food, yes. And if you agree, you can say, so do I, or I do too, yes. No puedo mezclar esto, aquí can, so can do, porque la sentence es with simple present, okay? So, si, sí, tiene que tener cuidado, right, que vaya. According, according to the sentence. If somebody tells you, right? If somebody tells you, I am crazy con el verb to be, entonces usted va siempre con el verb to be. Mire, here. Si le dicen with can, well, usted va with can, right? Mire. Now, if somebody tells you something with simple present, so you need to use simple present, right? And also here, if you notice, right? This is something negative, right? Because this one is affirmative. Ahora, cuando son sentences negativas, right? Porque a veces nos dicen something negative. Por ejemplo, nos dicen, I am not in the mood for Indian food. Pues a veces nos dicen, uh, I'm not, right? Sorry. Sometimes nos dicen, no, I don't, I don't want pupusas today. Yes, I, I, I'm not in the mood for pupusas, right? I'm not in the mood for yuca frita, right? Sometimes nos dicen así. Entonces, usted puede decir, oh, yo estoy de acuerdo, right? Yes. So you can say, para eso vamos a ocupar neither y vamos a ocupar either. Yes. Vamos a ocupar esos two. Ahora, neither, si usted se fija, va at the beginning. Yes, at the beginning. And either va al final. Also, este neither, si usted se fija, va con expresiones, right, affirmatives. Yes, aunque el significado sea negative, right? Yes, porque viene el contexto negative. Y este either siempre va a ir con expresiones negative, okay? Negative, yes. Entonces, I am not in the mood for Italian food, verb to be, mire. Aquí, neither am I, verb to be. I am not either, verb to be. Y en la respuesta, en la disagree, si usted está en disagree, no se acuerda, no están en acuerdo, perdón, I'm sorry. Usted tiene que decir algo afirmativo, 
Yes, ¿por qué? Porque esto es negative y usted dice algo affirmative. So, ahí está lo opposite. Yes, you disagree, right? Si alguien dice, I don't like pupusas, oh, I'm sorry, but I like pupusas, right? So, you say something positive. Ahora, I can stand fast food. Can stand, right? No soporto, right? Yes. I can't stand. Neither can I. I can't either. Otra vez. Mire, si nos preguntan con el verb to be, vamos con verb to be. Si nos dicen algo con el can, vamos con el can, right? Toda la estructura, right? Y este simple present, I don't like salty food. I don't like salty food. Yes, neither do I. I don't either. Y aquí otra vez, right? Cuando vamos en disagreement, right? Usted disagree with somebody, usted dice, pues lo contrario, right? Si a él no le gusta, pues a usted le gusta, right? So that's the opposite. Okay. Otra vez, aquí tenemos use, so, or to after affirmative sentence. ¿Cuáles son las affirmative sentences? Estas de acá. Mire, sí. Entonces yo voy a ocupar estos. Yes. Con affirmative sentence. Voy a ocupar so and to. Don't forget. When we use to, tenemos que ponerle una coma. I am, coma, to. I can, coma, to. I do, coma, to. Estas son affirmative sentences, right? Ahora, cuando estén estas affirmatives, yo no puedo utilizar neither, ni either. No puedo utilizar estas porque estas son para negative sentences. ¿Por qué son negative? Bueno, mire, not, not, not. Entonces, when we have negative sentence, vamos a ocupar neither and also either. Yes, para to show agreement. And if you want to say, like, that you disagree with this person, well, you need to say the opposite. Usted va with the opposite. Yes. Otra vez, aquí tenemos use neither or a neither after negative statement. One more time, the negative statements, these ones, these ones, negative statements. Okay, I don't like fast food, neither do I, or I don't either. With so and neither, the verse comes before the subject. For example, so am I, right? Neither do I. Entonces, ¿qué nos está diciendo? So am I, neither do I. Okay, viene después de acá. Yes. Any question about this? Anybody? Any question? Again, we're going to practice this one this week. So don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. We're going to practice this one this week. And I hope that we can have a lot of exercises for practice on this content, which is on how easy, but sometimes is on how difficult. Okay? So let's listen pronunciation. Okay? Let's listen pronunciation on this one. Give me a minute. Let's listen. Pronunciation. Oh my gosh. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. So, to, neither, either. I'm crazy about Italian food. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Oh, I don't like it very much. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. I don't like salty food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, 
I like it a lot. Page 80s. Your microphone, teacher. Thank you so much. I forgot. Okay. We're going to have choose the correct response to show a B agrees with letter A. So, for example, number one is done. I am in the mood for something salty. I am two. What is the number two? What do we have in number two? I what can either. Okay. Can you read the, the, uh, sen the sentence in letter A, please? I can stand fat school. Uh -huh. I can either. Very good. I can't either. I can't either. Very good. Very good. What about the other one? Number three. I really like Korean food. Oh, very good. What is the... Uh, so do I. Very good, right? Exactly. So I, I, I really like Korean food. So do I. What about the number four? I don't eat French food very often. I don't either. Exactly. I don't either. Very good. And last one, please. What is the last one, number five? I'm not crazy about chocolate. Neither am I. Neither am I. Very good. Neither am I. Am I. Very good. That is correct. Yeah. This one? Aquí lo combina, right? Lo put them together. Neither am I. Irma Suleima, do me a favor. Read the sentences and read the answers, please. Thank you, Irma. What teacher? Oh, please read read the sentences and read the answers. Okay. Okay. Um, I I am in the mood on the for some time city. Okay. Uh, uh, Suleyma, I, I will I will repeat and you. Re, I'm sorry. I will say then you repeat. Okay. I am in, in the mood. In the mood for, for something, something, Selly. salty, salty, salty. Oh. Repeat, salty, please. Salty. Very good. Thank you. Continue. Uh, I am sure. Very I sure. do too. No. What is the correct option? Just the correct option. Okay. I do too. Oh no! This is the correct option. I am. I am two. two. Very good. Number two. I can stand the fat food. I can stand fat food. Very good. Entiende esta sentence, Irma? Mm, sí. Yo. Yo no puedo. Um, stand. Comer comida rápida. En, en este context significa soporto, right? Sí, sí, soporto en este case, right? Yes. It no can is... Exactly, very good. Continue, number three. I really like Korean food. So do, so do I. Beautiful, continue. I don't eat French food very often. Yes. I don't either. Beautiful. Continue. I am not crazy about chocolate. Neither, uh, neither am I. Beautiful. That is correct. Neither am I. That is correct. Very good. Sometimes this one we say, I don't, I don't, right? Sometimes when we pronounce it very fast, we say, I don't. Suena como una R, I, right? A veces no decimos I don't, 
eat there. So I don't eat, right? And But we say, I don't. I don't eat French food. Sometimes when we speak, sometimes fast, we, we say this expression, I don't, okay? Very good. Thank you so much. We're going to have another exercise on this one. Okay, so we can keep practicing. Here we have right responses to show agreement with this statement. So we have different ways to show agreement. For example, number one, I am not a very good cook. We need to show agreement. What is one way to show agreement? What is one way that we can show agreement? The expression is, I am not a very good cook. Uh-huh. Neither am I. Oh, okay, very good. Let me show. Neither am, sorry, am I. Very good. Oopsie, I'm sorry. What is another way? This is one way. And what is another way? Mm-hmm. What is another way that we can say this one? This is one way, right? But what's another way? I am too. Mm, no, I'm sorry. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not either. Beautiful. Okay, very good. Either, very good. Yes, right. So uh, these ones, right? We can use them with negative. So mire the sentence, negative, not. So when the sentence is negative, we utilize those two, right? I can say, neither am I. Also, I can say, I am not either. Yes? Cuando la sentence is negative. What about this one, number two? So, so do I. Okay, so do I. And what is another way? I do too. I do too. forget that when, when I use two, I need a comma, right? So, two, comma, two. Yes. So do I. I do two. When do we use this two, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Rima, right? Okay. <laughs> when do we use this two? Here, when the sentence is affirmative, right? Yes. Affirmative sentence, right? Entonces, aquí yo muestro agreement. Right? I love French fries. Oh, so do I. See? I do too. Very good. What about the number three? What do we have in number three? Neither can I. Neither can I. Oh, okay. Very good. So, uh, neither. Neither can I. Very good. And what is another way? I can I can't. I can't either, right? I can't either. I can't, oh, Jesus Christ. I can't either. Very good, okay? Why? Because the sentence is negative, negative, right? I can't eat very spicy food. What is this spicy? What is this spicy? Mm -hmm. What is this spicy food? Picante. Exactly, very good. Like Mexican food, right? Sometimes that thing is spicy. Very good. What about the number four? I never eat bland food. Oh, look at this one. Bland food. That's a good one. Okay. Give me give me an example of bland food. Mm-hmm. What is bland food? 
What is the what is the Urquil? Excuse me. Oh, Francisco. Example: Blanc food. Uh huh. Eh, relleno de Urquil. Okay. Pastas. Okay. Very good. Exactly right. So, a food that is soft. Bland is food that is soft, that um not spicy, right? It's like the opposite of spicy. Very good, Francisco. That is correct. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. Beautiful. So I never eat bland food. What is that? What is the the expression to show agreement with with the with with somebody? Uh huh. Neither but, can I. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Very good. Nice try. Mire, ahí es como vamos delimitando, right? By, by trying. Very good. Sebastiana? No, do I? No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Neither is I. Excuse me? Neither is I. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. You're almost close. Very good. Ya casi llegamos, right? Very good. We're almost there. Beautiful. That's correct. Ahí vamos, right? Mm -hmm. I never eat bland food. Remember simple present. This is about simple present. I don't either. Oh, Marvin. It's good. Yes. I don't either. Simple present, I don't. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, either. Okay, and what is another expression? Uh-huh, what is the other way that we can answer this one? That we can show agreement with somebody? Neither do I. Oh, perfect, Oscar, exactly. Okay, neither do I. Why? Because remember, never. So never, remember that is negative, right? So uh, that means that the uh, the negative expressions are this one. Either, right, that is the negative, and also neither. These two are like the negative expressions for this one. Yes, Um. okay. What about the number five? What about the number five? Yes, si me voy a tomar unos cuantos minutitos por, por el retraso que tuve con el Irene Connection, so I'm sorry. I apologize, okay, for that one. Okay. So oh, oh, so let me see. So can I. Beautiful, exactly, right? Very good. So can I. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. So can I. And what is the other one? I can too. Exactly. I can comma right two very good now this is to show agreement right yo muestro pues si estoy de acuerdo con this person si alguien me dice i am not very good a very good cook pues yo digo oh neither am i or i am not either pero si yo quiero mostrar lo contrario for example in la number one como le digo lo contrario a this person Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Si esta sentence es negative, ¿cómo nos quedaría para mostrar disagreement? Que no estoy de acuerdo with that person, right? O mostrar lo contrario, right? Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, mm, in the context, ahí va, right? Ahí va. But that is incorrect. Yes. Uh -huh. Si alguien me dice, I am not a very good cook. Y yo le llevo la contraria, right? ¿Cómo le digo? Really? I am. Really? I am. Okay. Okay. Okay, really? Really? Okay. 
I mean, really it is correct, right? But I think you are a good, I'm sorry, cook. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. So aquí esta person me está diciendo, I am not a good cook, right? Yes, right, this person is telling me, I am not a good cook. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que hago yo? Yo le digo lo contrario, really? I think you are, I'm sorry, I did a mistake. You are, oh, I look, I'm sorry, I don't need, I apologize. Uh -huh. I think you are a good cook, right? Yes, so I think you are a good cook. Yes, that I'm showing the opposite. What about the number two? I love French fries. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a, if like, if I want to disagree, what is the expression? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Oh, cuando la expresión es, si usted se fija, mire, aquí la expresión es negative, right? I am not a very good cook. Vengo yo aquí y la cambio a affirmative para mostrar disagreement. Y aquí, right? Aquí me dice, I love French fries. So la sentence es affirmative. Para llevarle la contraria, right? O para decir que no, tengo que escribir la sentence en affirmative or negative. In negative. In negative, exactly. So, ¿cómo me quedaría? Oh, here is the challenge, right? Here is the difficult part. I don't... don't love French fries. Exactly. Love French oh, fries, right? Yes. I don't love French... Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> Oopsie, I'm sorry. What is that one? Okay. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, yes. Love French fries. Entonces, right? Yo puedo mostrar algo con esto que es... Puedo, pues, estar de acuerdo, right? O con esto puedo estar en desacuerdo with that person. Yes? Okay. Vamos a practicar this week. We will keep practicing this week a little bit more tomorrow and also uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay? So we're going to stop it here. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the inconvenience with the internet. And see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye -bye. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.